Welcome back. So, we have a series of new pieces of news today. Some very exciting stuff. And uh, some kind of whatever stuff. Starting from the top, the test server is up for the Rejev update. I'll probably hop on there and mess around with that in a little bit. This one's probably our least exciting piece of news. Like, it's exciting because we get to play with the new toys, but like... As a piece of news, it's kind of like, whatever, it's there. More importantly, Rajev is coming with a new battlefield. Guess where? Couldn't possibly be the title of the update. No, it is. It, we're going to Rajev. Which I'm actually really happy with. Um, it's going to be available to all BRs. Uh, so right down here, join the fight. Mission will be available at all battle ratings of USSR and Germany, and after the release of the update, you'll have a higher chance of getting this battlefield for a while. So, why do I appreciate this? Well, Rejev is modeled very closely to what Moscow is like, and I really like playing on the Eastern Front in Enlisted. However, the problem with playing as Russia right now is that if you play low BR, you get a decent variety. You get Moscow, which personally I think it's a banger map set. And then you get uh, Stalingrad. And the two are kind of at odds with each other, where Stalingrad is very, very urban, and Moscow is very, very, like, countryside town. And I like that. It gives you a variety of different gameplay. It gives you a variety of different employable tactics and it makes the environments actually feel different than one another the problem is once you get to br5 you have berlin and you have stalingrad and berlin is like fucked up gray city and stalingrad is like fucked up white city and don't get me wrong, they're really cool because they have all these historic sites, and urban fighting can be fun, but the problem is when your only option is urban fighting. So for all of your high BR Russia, you only ever got to urban fight, and that's finally going to change with this. I've been saying for a long time now that I really wanted to see a new map set come in for the Eastern Front that was somewhere other than a city. And don't get me wrong, we're still getting some fairly built-up fighting areas. Like, uh, this one right here looks an awful lot like Stalingrad. Same with this one up here, but this one looks a lot like some of the Moscow maps. This looks a lot like some of the Moscow maps. Um, I think it'll be a decent mix of... Cause here, we can actually see the top-down view of this. It looks like it's going to be an urban center with a river in the middle, but it's going to have these bigger fields out on the sides so depending on where they put the various maps we might see some field fighting out here some urban fighting here some field fighting out here in a lot of ways i think it's reminiscent of what they did with the battle of the bulge maps um i'm blanking on the name of where it is it starts with an a anyway um it feels reminiscent of them because they have areas that are open fields they have areas that are like hill fighting areas that are forested areas that are urban and so it gives you a nice mix of different gameplay and it gives you a nice mix of different engagement ranges and it'll be nice to not be pigeonholed into these itsy bitsy berlin maps or stalingrad which to be honest i think stalingrad is a better map set than berlin uh, just for city fighting, because even though it's city fighting, there are more open areas there. But I'm just really looking forward to fighting somewhere that isn't a city when I play the USSR. For Germany, it's not as much of an issue, because Germany arguably has the most map variety in the game, since they fight the Western Allies on several uh, map sets, and they also fight uh, the Eastern Allies. So, all of this... This is really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Moving on from Rajev, for the Day of Normandy landings, we have a little mini event. This one's getting the Bessel LMG, which 
Looks to be a pretty neat little gun. I don't know what the stats on it are. Hopefully it's a, a little bit different from the Brens and the Vickers Berthiers. But, you know, we'll see. It's always nice to get new guns. We also get the Lanchester 50 SMG, and I suspect that this is going to be a very good SMG. Lanchesters generally perform really well, so having a Lanchester that gets an extended magazine, I am all for it. Everything else seems relatively normal. It's the same kind of format that you know and you're used to. Just make sure you're completing your tasks if you want to get the things. And finally, there are things that are back from the Abyss. So, what do we have here? Well, there is a Legacy Premium Squad. They are an M18 Bar Squad. It's four machine gunners with M18 Bars and one Engineer that you can tack on and give them whatever you want. Um, in the past, I would have recommended this squad... Uh, like when they were actively being sold, but that was a long time ago. These days, there are better squads, and you can get their gun in the tech tree. So, if you're just starting out, they're not a bad addition. But, if you're somebody who's been playing for a while, you can literally make a better squad than this, just with the stuff you have available in the tech tree. Beyond that, We've got the Marine Raiders back with their 1928 Thompsons. They're actually quite good. Um, they came with, uh, what's it called? The Pacific Axis, I think. Or they came out right around the same time as Pacific Axis. So they should be a five-man squad with four salters and an engineer with everybody using a Thompson. Um, I use them a lot because they're BR2, and it's kind of difficult getting Thompsons at BR2, and Thompsons are kind of the American fantasy, I guess, much more so than the British submachine guns that you get stuck using. And finally, there's a BR2 P40. Uh, I think you yeah, you might be okay with it, but I'd probably skip this one. I think it gets a single 500-pound bomb, which isn't bad. Like, it'll perform fine, but I also think that the Americans have plenty of access to decent air power in their tech tree. And remember, that this isn't a sale. These, these are just available from the Abyss. They're just not always available. So, I'll be checking out the dev server soon. Look out for that. Other than that, get out there, kick ass, take names, and win your games.